Windows user switches to MacBook after 14 years. My first computer was a Windows PC. I think it was around the age of 13 and after a few years I purchased a Windows laptop and later another laptop with the same OS. I used Windows XP, Windows 7 and Windows 10 Pro. This is not a video to bash Windows. I am grateful for Windows and Asus for being at lower price to be able to use them and grow as a web developer. I still own a Windows laptop just in case I need it for programming. I'll share the things that I liked when I switched to MacBook and noticed during the 3 years of using two MacBooks. I bought my first MacBook in the late 2020 after I saw great reviews about the newly launched MacBook 13 Pro M1 Apple Silicon, the build quality. I loved how it looked and felt. It felt like something premium and made me excited every time that I used it. I think Apple is doing a great job on its product setup. It was very easy to start with it because the operating system is already installed and you need to go through some simple steps. It took me some days to get used to the shortcuts on macOS, but after you get used everything is much more simpler. And I love the screen recording functionality and also the free app iMovie. At the moment I use iMovie, but I plan in the future to use Final Cut Pro. Functionality. I was really impressed the tasks on it worked instantly and didn't get blocked. I don't remember the last time something was blocked or an error was shown. It is like something too good to be true, but it is true. Connectivity. It was great that it syncs with my photos from my iPhone through iCloud. You can share Wi-Fi passwords, get and send SMS messages, and make calls from your MacBook through your iPhone. Two years later I saw great reviews about the MacBook Pro 16-inch with M1 Max and I bought it mainly because the large screen which was great for programming. Then I found out that you can move your mouse from one to another. So you just move your mouse to the edge and it moves to the other device and you interact like you are on it. Screen. It was the first time I had a 4K screen and it was amazing. I could see all the small details. The colors were incredible and the brightness was great. Keyboard. I love lights on a keyboard and this was my first laptop with them. It's great during the night and the quality of the keyboard is great. I also like the touch bar on the 13 inch one. I know some don't like it but I do. Maybe because I have two MacBooks and I can switch from one to another so on one of them I have the function keys and on the other one I have the touch bar. Touchpad. I no longer use a mouse because the touchpad is so good and well built. I didn't expect it to work so well. And it is great when you travel you don't need to bring your mouse with because the touchpad handles it great. Start time. You don't need to turn it off through the power settings, you just close the lid. When you open it starts instantly. This is such a great feature. I think this feature was added when the M1 was released in the new operating system at that time. And the last point, fan noise. On the M1 and later versions of MacBooks, the fan rarely starts, only on highly intensity tasks so it is silent and doesn't distract you with the noise. This was great for programming in my case because I could focus on tasks and didn't get distracted by the noise. I hope you liked the video and if you did click the like button, share, subscribe and leave a comment. Thank you for watching, have a great day.